know the game, know the game, know the game. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can join the notification game and never miss an upload. What's up players? It's Iderbout here coming at you with another scheme video. Well it's not really it's not really a scheme video, it's more like a, a hidden features video. Today I'm gonna show you three hidden features in Madden that not a lot of people know about. Enough people know about it, like the serious uh, hardcore Madden players know about these features, but not a lot of the general players and people who don't want to spend their entire life scheming away at this game know. Like you know, you'd really have to play this game a lot to know these features. At least I think so. So the first one is using the QB spy and using the, the, the send the nearest defender feature. It's not really that secretive. A decent amount of people know about it, but there's ways that you can use it outside of QB spies. I'm gonna explain it all in a second. So I'm gonna come on 4-3 normal and I'm this first part is going to be me by myself, but I'm also going to have clips with me using my brothers in like Reg's gameplay, so that way we, I can show you how it works. So, you guys, uh, Michael Vick has been out in the game for at least a week, I believe so, but there's also other mobile quarterbacks like Russell Wilson and Cam Newton in the game that you can use in Reg's and obviously in Mutt. So, a popular way to attack those mobile quarterbacks is to put a QB spy out there. And a lot of people use defensive linemen. So I'm going to put my left end in the QB spy, and I'll explain that in a second. Just showing what the QB spy does is the QB spy, as you can see here, will chase around the quarterback, and that's his, his, what he is is what he does. He's a QB spy. He's going to spy on the quarterback. His main job is to follow the quarterback around to make sure he doesn't get any rushing yards. Now, how I did that is I used the quick adjustments, and how you use quick adjustments is each different position group, meaning linebackers, linemen and DBs have their own quick adjustment menu and how you access is that is by using the position specific button so for linemen it's L1 or LB if you're on Xbox so you see I press L1 or LB if you're on Xbox and you see it pulls up the D, D line menu I can shift the line left I can shift the line right I can make them slant outside you see like that so that's how you access the defense alignment but how you quick adjust is by pulling up this p position specific menu and you see at the bottom left there it says quick adjust so i'm just going to press l1 again and it allows me to adjust these d linemen manually so i can go let's say don tari poe is triangle i can press triangle and put him in a vertical hook by pressing the left stick down so you see now he's in the now he's in a vertical hook so l1 L1 and then you can press Dontari Poe and then put them wherever you can put them in a hook curl right but for this menu uh, I, a video we're gonna put the defense alignment in the QB spot so you're gonna press L1 L1 or if you're on Xbox that's LB LB select the de defensive lineman icon that you want in this case I'm going to use Mario Addison so I'm gonna press square and you see on the right side of the assignments it says QB spy by pressing the right stick left so I'm gonna flick the right stick left and that's going to put him in a QB spy where he's going to follow Jameis Winston around. And the feature that I'm going to talk about is, let's see here. You see he's going to follow Jameis Winston. If you click in the right stick, you're going to be able to send him after Jameis Winston. Now, first I thought this was, this was just a QB spy feature that you use with QB spies, but you can also use it with zones. So you see here uh, on PlayStation, you see there at the bottom it says pre-play. On PlayStation, it's the R3 button technically, so you just click in the right stick. But on Xbox, you just click in the right stick as well, and it will send that QB spy. So let's set up the QB spy again. L1, L1, square, right stick left for the QB spy. You're gonna roll out with Jameis Winston or whoever it is. You see they're following, you click the stick, and now he's gonna come down and chase. Now you saw Thomas Davis behind there too. That's another feature that you can use this with. F clicking in the right stick or clicking R3 will allow you to send the nearest defender. Now, if you have a QB spy, the QB spy is going to be the nearest defender because his job is to be to follow the quarterback. So obviously he's going to be closest to him. But you see Thomas Davis here on the right. He's in a cloud flat. He's in a curl flat. If I don't send out a QB spy, he's going to be the nearest defender and he's going to be a zone defender that we send out there. So you go out there, you come out here, you see there's no, there's no QB spy. You click in and Thomas Davis is going to be there. Now I'm going to show some gameplay footage of this as well, but you also have to be aware that when you try to use this feature, there's going to be times where, hold on, that a person who is good with the mobile quarterback is going to know 
that people are going to send zones so they're going to frequently throw behind the zone so you see here you send your QB spy and they're going to throw behind them so you have to match that as well you have to know if you're going to send your spy you're going to have to replace that but I'm going to show you some gameplay of that footage right about now so I like thinking of using this little feature as, as in levels like in level one it's the opponent rolling out the pocket level two you're sending the spire zone to chase him down level three they're going to notice that you're sending the spire zone and when they, when you send that spire zone to chase him down it's going to leave an area to feel wide open so they're going to try to throw behind it level four you replace that defender in the spire zone area most likely it's going to be the flash you replace that defender in coverage and you cover that route and you pick it off level five is they might be able to playmaker that route left or right or up so you have to be ready for that playmaker and level six is actually covering that playmaker so we're done with this one right here this is a neat feature center the nearest defender you can use it on flat zones and spies the next feature that we're going to use is actually going to be able to help you with field goals and it's going to how to never get iced again when you're going for field goals you never should have left so I think it's pretty easy to avoid the ice in Madden 19. All you have to do is come out in a fake field goal. You see right here, I'm coming out in a fake field goal shove. So whenever it's time for you to make that clutch kick, come out in a fake field goal first and allow your opponent to call their timeout. This happens, this works, and it doesn't let you get ice because what the game sees it as is you're coming out in a run or a pass, depending on which fake field you go, you call. So when your opponent calls a timeout, the game doesn't see it as you're trying to kick and your opponent calls a timeout to try to ice you, it sees it as you're coming out in a run or a pass and your opponent is trying to ice you. So then it's gonna give, go ahead and initiate the ice mechanic. And I'm gonna show you right here what actual icing looks like. The camera zooms in and when you kick the ball, the kicking meter disappears away a little bit. So I call the timeout right here. I'm gonna come out on the field goal again and it's gonna be iced real quick. So I think this is a fantastic method that you can use in head to head or you can use in solos and solos all you have to do is come out on a fake field goal the computer will not call the timeout and you can actually audible to a regular field goal from the fake field goal so if you come out on a fake field goal and your opponent doesn't ice you you're not stuck in a fake field goal all you have to do is press square to pull up the play call menu and press square again in order for you to go to a regular field goal and if you're on xbox obviously it's x to pull up the play call menu and x again to go into a regular field goal so you can audible from this but come out in a fake field goal let them call a timeout waste the timeout they can't call two timeouts back to back to ice you again once you come out in the field goal and they recognize you're not ice so go ahead and use this visit it's not a it's not a feature that's advertised so i see it's a decent hidden feature so let's move on to the next hidden feature in the game and that's using the pause menu to give you extra time on the clock so you know how on defense when whenever your opponent selects a play you only get 15 seconds to select your play to not delay the game and sometimes if you're trying to set your substitutions or you're trying to manage your audibles you won't have enough time so you might have to waste a timeout or come out in a play that you're not prepared to come out in so when the clock hits one all you have to do is pause the game in a head-to-head -head game you get five pauses you pause the game and when you resume the game you're going to get 15 more seconds on the clock so now you have to you're able to know that you have 30 seconds straight up available without wasting the timeout that you have on the clock to be able to set your audibles and go ahead and pull in your right substitutions in your formations and you can do it obviously you have five timeouts so you can do it five times a game you're trying to set your audibles again you see the clock is going to tick down all the way to one you pause the game when the game unpauses you have 15 more seconds so just a little tip right there hidden feature that's not advertised to give you a little bit a little bit of edge over most of your opponents in the game you see i'm doing it again right here well, I mean, if, I, if you learned something and I helped you out, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you like my content, subscribe. Peace.